Okay, let's solve this uh, question of non coplanar forces. I have a body of weight, uh, 10 newton. Okay, is hung from the free end of a piece of wire, who is attached to a fixed. Who is attached? Where am I? Okay, whose other end is fixed to a rigid support? Okay, I have a rigid support like this. This is a rigid support. And I fixed a wire like this, okay? In fact, on the normal, the, the wire is supposed to be straight. Look at the wire. If I look at the wire here, it's supposed to be straight like this, okay? Uh, then, I now put a, a, a weight. The weight I'm putting is 10 newton. Then I, then I said that I now attached another string on it horizontally, okay? So, you know, there will be a force here pulling it. This force is F1. The force on the string is F2, okay? And they say that, um, so 10 newton. And they say that uh, this wire now make an angle of 30 degrees as I'm pulling it. It makes an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical as I'm drawing this thing like this, okay? So there's a force here, there's a force here. So let us resolve this thing. If you want to resolve this, don't forget that the weight of something always acts downward. So this 10 newton is acting downward. So what do you do? To resolve uh, this, you need to make this one... To resolve it straight, to make it straight like this, and it is standing straight, so it will be equal to the one downward. The one upward should be equal to downward. So it means that what? F, I'm resolving it towards this, and uh, ASTC against the sine towards this cos. So I'm, I'm having F1 cos 30 is equal to the downward force, which is 10. Okay? So F1 is equal to what? 10 divided by cos 30, which is equal to what? 10 over. Um, root 3 over 2, which is what? 20 over root 3, which is what? 20 root 3 over 3, according to sword. Uh -huh. So the next one now, we are going to resolve this now, this tension now, okay? Um, mm, 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 mm. Okay, the next thing we are going to do is, um, we need to get F, we need to get a, uh, we need to get F2, okay? And getting F2 means we are going to resolve this. We're going to resolve this. This is horizontally. And resolving it vertically is taking it up like this, away. We are taking it away. So if you are taking it, resolving it horizontally is like this. Take, take it, uh, vertically. Uh, vertically is like this. Horizontally is like this. So that it will now be straight like this, like this one, okay? So the F2, the force of the F2 should be equal to what? Resolving this one like this is what? F1, since it's a wave, it should be sine. F1 sine 30. Did I get that? F1 sine 30. So what do we have? Uh -huh. So what do we have that F2? F2 is equal to my F1 is 20 root 3 over 3. Then sine Sine 30 is 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. So I'm having 2 take care of, so I'm having 10 root 3 over 3. Okay? 10 root 3 over 3. That is that. But alternatively, if you, if you watch the last video, you see the way I solved it using a triangle. You can solve it using triangle. This is this. This line is this horizontal one, F2. This one is F1. And here is 30. You are done. What else are you looking for? The one down is 10. So this one down is 10. So, <laughs> very simple. Uh, to get F1 is opposite over adjacent. Uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. Which is cos 30 is equal to F1 over 10. So F1 is equal to cos 30 over 10. Okay. Is it? Cos 30 is equal to adjacent 10 over hypotenuse F1. So F1 is equal to 10 over cos 30, which is the same thing as this. 10 over cos 30 is our F1. You see? So, but to get the other one is tan, okay? Because this is, um, if I want to use the same 10, I want to use the same 10, it will be adjacent over hypotenuse. That is tan. So tan 30 is equal to adjacent f1 over 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 two 
Okay, opposite over adjacent over 10. So F1 is equal to 10 times 10, which is what? 10 uh, root 3 over 3. 10 root 3 over 3, the same answer, Newton. Newton. So that is that. And simple and short. So let's solve the next question. Solving the next question. Okay. Solving the next question, I'm going to have. Say three strings uh -huh, attached to a body, comma, the forces exerted the forces exerted are concurrent and and acts at a point zero as shown below if if the two of the three the three forces makes an angle of 30 degrees each to the vertical with magnitude with magnitude each Five Newton, comma, find the magnitude, find the magnitude of the third, third force that should, that should be applied to keep them in equilibrium. Okay? So, then I gave us, they said that shown below like this, is in Y shape, 5 Newton, 5 Newton, and they make an angle of 30 Newton, 30 Newton. Okay. So, um, we are going to resolve this. And resolving it, we are going to resolve it vertically. And I have a force here. So, to find this force, which means this force F is equal to resolving everybody vertically like this. So, if I resolve this one, it's going to be what? 5 is moving towards. So, ASTC. ASTC. So, it's moving towards. So, cos is going to be 5 cos 30 plus another 5 cos 30. So, my F is equal to what? Uh, 5 root 3 over 2 plus another 5 root 3 over 2. So I'm having my F is equal to um, so LCM is 2. I'm having 5 plus 5. That is 10 root 3. That is 5 root 3 plus 5 root 3. 5 root 3 plus 5 root 3. Okay? So what am I having? I'm having 10 root 3 over 2 which is what? 5 root 3. Okay? As simple as that. Newton. So that is that. What else are we having? So the next one, you see, these things are very, very simple. These things are very, very simple.
Another example said, three, three forces are concurrent and act and act at a point O as shown as shown below. Find the equally branch of the forces. Find the equilibrant of the forces, okay? And they gave us the forces to be like this. They say F2, F1. And they say that this one is 13 Newton, 12 Newton, F3. <laughs> and they both make an angle of um, 30 degrees. Okay, so how do we resolve this? How do we resolve this? Okay, okay, to resolve this is very simple. I'm going to have um, let me resolve it in terms of let me get here. Getting here will be 120 Newton. Okay? So it means I'm going to have something that will cut it like this. So I'm using R that is F3. F3 squared is equal to F1 squared plus F2 squared. Okay? Minus the same F1, F2 cos. 180 minus theta. That's what I'm going to use. So I'm having what? 12 squared plus 13 squared. Or 13 squared plus 12 squared. Okay? Minus 2 times 13 times 12. Then cos 180 minus that 30. So I'm having... Uh, if you do everything, you're going to have 583.192. So I'm having the square root of... F3 583.192 which is equal to 24.1 Newton. So I think we are okay. Thank you very much for watching. In our next video, we talk about um think motion. Please subscribe.